in 2022, we decided we'd had enough of living how we were. We sold our house, quit our jobs and moved into a motorhome. We then spent the following year traveling around Europe and had an amazing time. But we realized that we needed a base again and somewhere for the kids to call home. Ireland had always seemed like the right place for us. And when we found this derelict property, we just fell in love immediately. And then this now is the story of us renovating our Irish homestead. Hi guys, welcome to another week here and wow what a week it has been! Well Storm Debbie causes a few issues, you might be able to see that behind me. Uh, but yeah, let's start from the beginning and how we woke up at 5am the other morning. What a way to wake up. Oh my god. This is the walls. This, I've never known anything like it. The walls on this whole side are moving. <laughs> Bending, in and out. Actually bending in and I think I'm gonna go outside now but the uh, it looks like the the, the roof plant the roof's blown off and everything's blown off but the whole van is shaking. I don't even know what see why like people chain these things down now. Yeah. Kittens are petrified but it's on the wall. Oh, yeah, it's moving. I, I, I don't think you should go out. Don't go out. You could get hit. You might hit by a flying metal. No, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to walk out in the yard. Well, just come out to see what's happening. I've never seen the trees bend like like this before. But look at that. I don't know if the, if the camera picks it up. In the tree there, and here, with all the insulation I put in. It's even over there against the fence where the sheep are. But it's in the trees. Oh my god. I've never seen the trees bend like this before. I don't see it. I don't know whether it's the steel. The steel is still on. Big storm. But look, as you can see, the skirt's all coming out. Down the back there. It's still on, but yeah, I'm gonna get in. Because we don't want flying debris. I just can't believe it. it's bloody. Oh, what a nightmare. But, well, the panels are falling down as well, so better get them in. Oh, all the Sam's hard work putting in that insulation. And it's everywhere. Whee! And we don't even know where the trampoline is. And it's not, <laughs> not where it was. And the solar panels blew off. I will find it. Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna get rigged up. I'll come with. Uh -oh. I'll come with. No, you and no, you're staying you stay in. in. Yeah, I've got all Gore-Tex, haven't I? Yeah. And I think my best tree down the end that was still alive. But get the kettle on. Oh, it's blown over. Why can't it have been one of the dead ash trees instead it has to be? The one that was still living and had a good canopy. It's always the way. Yeah, I will. Sod's law. Where's the phone? That's depressing. The tree around us. Well, we'll go and have a we'll go and have a quick butchers and see what damage there is. Found that I've seen the trampoline. You'll believe how far away it is. It was. It was there. An eight foot diameter trampoline. So here we have it. I don't know what the sound's like with the wind. Yeah, ripped. It's ripped. But I can't go up there in this wind. I just can't. Well, I can't, but <laughs> I don't know if it's safe. 
panels have flown off. They're now in the house safe. The trampoline was here. All this tin stayed on. The window is displaced. You can see how much metal there is flown about. The roof is actually good fixings, good fixings. <laughs> Looks like there's a big rainstorm coming. We've got general rubbish, not good. It's a big old hole. As you can see, that's how big that is. It's massive. really going to get any closer to that um, general insulation everywhere <clears throat> no, I'll get out here and pick all this up the big trees holding she's holding because I've quite a few branches have snapped off I don't want to be hovering about really too much under here um, but yeah you can see how much debris has blown from the house, it's uh, not good. A bit more metal in the fields here. There it is. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it around there. An eight foot trampoline, it's a tree. So I'll be up there getting that. Not been down here yet, so this is uh, more metal missing off our, oh, off our walkways. <laughs> you know, our only way at the minute to get around get around the sludgy fields um, till our farmer friend comes up with his tractor and, uh, there we go it's a shame this because it's a nice big tree and it was it was living it was not ash no unfortunately I have got a full day chainsawing to do I think but, gonna be drinking oh my god it's like a bug yeah I'm gonna be drinking tea I think today quite a bit I'll do what I can I'll do what I can no doubt there's other people around as you see as well that have had lots of damage so people might need help yes and this is deep <laughs> so there's another tree behind here as well that's fallen it's such a shame really because I'm going to have to get in there today, I think. Have a little swim. Do some Wim Hof. Anyway, could have been worse. Died down loads now, hasn't it, the wind, yeah. thankfully? Got rid of our um, yeah, helico <laughs> helicopter turntable for the... Uh... Oh, gutted, the helicopter. Well, it's not coming for summer. <laughs> I'll make something out of it. Yeah, that Spinny was... chair, the kids will love a spinny chair, I'm telling you, but that'll do now, just... Yeah, it's more sturdy, isn't I didn't it? I think of that in the first place. So come on then, what, what have you built? Alright, we've not finished yet, but I'm going to build... Um, it's going to be like little ramps here. Because mm -hmm. I'm asking for a go-kart for Christmas, which I'm desperate for. <laughs> then if there's any problems with it, I can take it up on this ramp. Oh, so that's going to be it. your ramp where you're going to put the go-kart when you need to fix it? Yeah, or park it. Or park it. Okay, yeah. genius. Right, cool. I'll bear it in mind. I've talked to you about a go-kart though, there's you, you, a lot of hills around here and a lot of yeah, them... Yeah, we're riding around this area here, it's nice oh. and flat here. Okay, alright. Well, we have to see what Father Christmas brings. Yeah. Hmm.
So one of the things that we want to do is make a, a compost pile and log store as well. So one cheap way to do it, I guess, is out of pallets. So a local company has dropped a load off. I mean, they're a bit rubbish, they're broken, but Sam can normally kind of fix them, making it up out of what's left. So yeah, my job today that he's left me with is to try and find a few the same size so we can make the compost pile because we desperately need one really. And I'll show you, this is probably where we're going to put it. Obviously I want it to be quite close to the house eventually and uh, the static, but at the moment because we don't know what, <laughs> we, we don't want it to be in the way either right now. So here just seems like a good spot right now. I'll put a little pallet there to mark it. So it's going to go there. We are lucky today after that uh, storm. Storm Dory. Dory? Debbie. <laughs> um, yeah, I've managed to salvage it um, and get a bit more done as well. So, managed to drop a bit of firewood. Uh, now we've got a log burner. That is, uh, it's going to need a full day really. It's going to need a few days actually. I don't know if you can see here, I've got some, some pallets here. Um, I'm gonna make a composting heap, um, like I've seen someone else do. So we get our worm population back and um, all the cellular activity going in the in the soil again. And there's no worms here. When you ever dig through, there's no worms, no moles. So we could do with getting as many sort of little beasties back as possible. So I'm definitely glad that we kept the bottom bit of the corner of the field exactly as it was when we first come because it's wild and that's where all the little crystals will be but while it's uh, sunny I shall show you the roof voila I mean there's the front section obviously the canopy um, I'm gonna make the ridge myself out of um, all the tin that fell down I'm just gonna uh, make it basically that's what they've done on the old house they just made it so I shall do the same. Well, this is today's, this well, this morning's mission. Just getting this bad boy on. Um, got another section of flu coming, and um, I don't even know what you call them, like the flashing kit that goes round it. But yes, it's just been me and the sheepies and the sunshine. So I've actually run out of tin, otherwise I would finish it off. We have this small section. It's not that small. It's, it's deceiving how much bloody tin this eats up. Um, I'm not in a dodgy position no more with my ladder, which is great. Um, nice, safe, not slipping, footing, all of it. So, I just wish 
I had the other tin, but I haven't just yet. Solar panels are still working after the uh, after the storm, so we're still pulling a good section of juice out of there. Right, well, I better get on. While the sun is shining, I am going to get on with the composting bin section thing. So, right, I shall speak to you in about an hour. Well, this will do. I'm going to wrap it in chicken wire. And that's all it is, it's just a load of pallets um, sort of chucked together. But once I put some chicken wire around it and stuff, we'll be able to throw all of our composting material in there. It's been a long day today. I'm feeling a bit pooped. Me and my little helper here, we are going to put some chicken mesh on the inside because it's not really they're all pallets they're a bit broken and i think he, he's done his best but we don't want it all falling out everywhere so in order to try and contain it we're gonna cover the inside with some chicken wire aren't we yep yeah so let's get cracking smashed it didn't we yeah. <laughs> well perhaps smashed it isn't the right word <laughs> we did all right this is the first attempt there we go chicken wire around the edges Sam said to leave the bottom it's fine and he's gonna make a door on this bit so we might put some extra on in a bit but that'll do that'll do some some are you even even someone if you don't say that'll do pig? Huh? <laughs> What's that off? That'll do pig. Oh. Babe. So this is where the old This was the old lintel. That was holding the door up. This, you know, old uh, it's an old bit of oak and then there was a railway sleeper as well holding it up. Um can you see the I think you can see the old thatch up there, can you? If I get out of the way. All oh, that's gotta come out, you see. Um but there was a crack here and it was about that big. So I had to I, I had to get rid of it. That was an absolute, it was like this side, you know, with all the thatch coming over, it was a death trap. So I thought I'm gonna drop that, get the stone out, get the weight off. I think that's what's not helping with the bulge on the building on the front. Well, it's definitely not helping with the bulge. I'm gonna try and plumb this wall up, you see. Um, maybe I have to take it down. Well, at least we've got plenty of stone to rebuild it with, but for now, I'm just going to get get to it, head down, and get this stone out of here. So, you and got it easy here. Eh? You can go in and drink some more tea, can't you? Hmm? Or maybe bring me a cup of coffee. Hmm? You? Yes. Yes. He's nodding. Right. I'll get cracking.
it's filming now. Yeah, the lovely Irish weather is upon us again. So I've got the tin now down there. If you can see it in the background there, I have the last remaining panels. I think it's seven, 12 panels to go on. Some 10 footers and then some six footers, you know, for up the top there, you can see where I've, obviously I've only got to there. So I just need to finish it off. But I can't because, I mean, I'm stood in the shelter here. It's raining and it's windy. So unfortunately I can't get that on today. I can't wait to do the deck because I've got some amazing timber to go on there. Some really thick uh, red larch. And uh, it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to doing it. I don't know if I can go out in the rain a bit, but I started making, I am going to go out in the rain a bit. I started making a little bit of a wood store. It's, uh, just out of the scrap when the barn blew down. Obviously there's just timber there. It's like 7 by 3 So I might as well use it. And then I've got some super duper chunky pallets. So I'm going to make a bit of a lean-to roof out of this here. So just pallets, you see, lay down. Got a bit of repairing to do. A bit of the 7 by 3 off the, uh, the fallen fallen down beams are, are massive. I don't know if we can have a little play through the mud here. <laughs> I've not got to taking this down yet, but obviously they're really chunky, nice timber. So I will reclaim all of that and use it to make a wood store. And obviously I've got plenty of tin. I'm gonna use some of the sleepers to stand up at the back there. And then basically it's just gonna have a bit of a, use some of the 7 3 at the front and then just a lean-to roof and into the trough. Um, it's filling. Fine. Still got the trees to take down. There's always lots to do here, but it's chucking it down. The pot is on, so I'm going to get back in. And I think we're going to leave it there really now for this week. I'm just going to have a good chill and watch some watch some eighties films or something like that. I don't know. Not like me to relax, but today I'm going to. And I'll leave it there. <laughs>